Hello, hello, hello. I hope I am live. I'm just setting my timer so that I don't go over 10 minutes. Hello, Facebook. Hello, Facebook friends, school friends. Hello, visibility vibers. And especially hello um, to those of you who have liked, supported, followed, and even subscribed to the updates from um, the Queen of Being Seen page. I am Jenny Kovacs, and I am the so-called Queen of Being Seen. And I've been doing this for, um, gosh, it's 2010, 12 years. Look, the reason I'm so passionate about this is because I know what it feels like to feel like you're being overlooked or ignored or kind of just passed over, really. And I um, have worked quite tirelessly um, for well over a decade and probably a lot longer in my um, in my previous life um, to help people to be able to uh, to raise their voice, you know, to have their voice be heard and um, to really be seen and have their true potential be seen. But anyway, today. I am sharing this video and this is something to motivate you. Now, it so happens that it's a Monday that I'm broadcasting this and publishing this live, but it doesn't, you don't have to wait for a Monday to be motivated. And I wanted to come and share this message because I too myself was really highly motivated um, just this morning. And I thought, why not kind of like spread that ripple effect? So, um, I was um, listening to a room in Clubhouse. Yes, Clubhouse is still going and has got some phenomenal people in there. And as we were discussing lots of different things about teams and, um, and high performing people and, and things like that, somebody who is actually a Facebook connection of mine called Beiju, um, I will, I'll tag Beiju in underneath because he does a whole raft of work on his own. It's highly motivation. I've actually met him in the flesh um, and I've heard him speak. Uh, we spoke at an event um, many years ago. So one of the things that I um, am really, really passionate about is people being able to be motivated, but not necessarily by somebody screamy, shouty, you know, shouting at them, be motivated. The ability to motivate ourselves. Now, what is this and why is it important? Whether you are a business owner, whether you see yourself as a high performer, whether you are doing the best that you can and juggling, um, like juggling balls, spinning plates, you know, managing family, homeschooling, managing, caring for relatives, caring for neighbours, managing your business, managing a group of people. Maybe you are a volunteer like Alan, who has showed up on, um, on this live version of this. So maybe you are volunteering it and kind of like your ripple effect are going into lots of different groups. There'll be times where simply telling somebody just to like shut up and move on or just to forget about it or just go for it, just jump in, don't be scared, you can do it. Sometimes that's not gonna cut it. So I wanted to share this, um, this motivation today from a place where you can self-motivate. And here's why this is important. Um, quite often, with like well-meaning um, people, friends, family, the people around us, when we say, um, oh, I don't think I can do this, or we express some concern, what happens is they try and bolster you or boost you from the place of where they are, from what, what their experiences have been, from what they've seen in other people. And even though they believe in you and the words, you know, make sense, hey, good morning, good morning. It's good to see you as well, Alan. Um, even though their words make logical sense in your brain, the thing that's actually going to spark the motivation isn't something that's logical. Um, let me give you a really strange example. Um, I'm trying to remember which year it was, maybe 2008, 2009. I actually went to and, and did the London Zoo Friendly Spider program because I was a complete arachnophobic. As I got older and older through life, it's just like my phobia got worse. And I knew in fact, it must have been before then, because I knew that I was going to be going to Australia. And if I was going to go to Australia and everybody delighted in telling me how big they are over there. I'm not going to keep saying the word spiders because I know that it freaks people out even just saying that. Um, but everyone delighted in telling me how huge they were and how frightening they were. And I just thought I need to do something about it. Now, here's the thing. I've been living all these years and like my close friends will tell you, I'm, you know, I'm streaming this live on Facebook. My close friend, my, my lovely friend Donna will tell you that she actually came round to my house at like 10 o'clock one night because I was absolutely breaking out in a cold sweat because there was a spider in my house, you know. Um, so it's a really real thing. But the thing that like 
people, not so much Donna, bless her heart, but other people have told me, just like, you're bigger than that. Just don't worry about it. You can run in one way. It runs in another direction. It's not worried about you. It can't harm you. All of those things are logical, but didn't make sense to me. Therefore, I wasn't motivated to change that. I wasn't motivated from within. Does this make sense? So if there is something that you would like to do, you need to like check in with what feels right, what sounds right, what looks right for you, so that it can give you the motivation to do. Because that's what I care about, the motivation for you to do the thing. Be the thing, have the thing, do something differently. And it doesn't have to be my way or that person's way or this influencer's way. It has to be your way. So this morning, when I was listening um, to this room, like I say, so many um, topics were discussed. And right towards the end, somebody talked about what it takes 21 days to change a habit. And Beiju, who I will tag in here, and I hope you don't mind Beiju, because I want people to see your work as well. Your work's fantastic. And Beiju came up with a really great point because he helps people to do this as well. He said, well, actually, um, you know, more research has actually shown that it can take up to 66 days. Because when you think about it, this is completely true. A habit is something that you just do. Like when I had my phobia, I didn't have to sit there and think, OK, next time I see a spider in the room, I'm going to really get freaked out. I'm going to act irrationally. I'm going to leave the house and not want to come back. I'm not going to want to walk up my stairs. You know, I never had to think that. It literally went into automatic pilot. So in the same way that I've grown through life, making myself like an arachnophobe, um, the same way I could then change it. So this means if you've got a vision or a goal or something that seems really hard or maybe at the moment seems impossible, you actually have the ability to change it, but not because I tell you to change it, not because somebody tells you to do it, but because you feel motivated to do it. So let's tap into this question. And the question simply was, what's one thing that you could do? I'm gonna to insert today, because it's good to start from today, but what's one thing that you can do, let's say as soon as possible, to change that habit? Given that if you keep going over 66 days, after the 66 days, it will become a habit. Now, you might fall off the wagon on your way through there. You know, there's something else that I've been doing, which is more in my business that I've been doing. And I've already seen some great results. Yet sometimes I still find myself like I've made the time in my calendar, but haven't physically made the time to do the thing. So until I'm doing that on repeat, and it's repetition that does this, like going to the gym, like running, like trying not to eat the food you're not supposed to eat, like drinking more water, all other brands of water, of course, are available, but like anything that we want to do differently, that repetition is key. Consistency is key, yes, but that repetition is key. So here's one thing that I don't want you to do. If you find yourself falling off the wagon, I don't want you to beat yourself up about it. Don't worry about it. As soon as you recognise you've fallen off the wagon, then just get back onto the, the thing that you're doing to help that habit. Second thing I would love you to do is to ask yourself this question like, and, and actually answer it. And just like, pick one thing to start off with. What's one thing that I can do differently each day? And to quote the words of Ban, um, Beiju, for 66 days to create a habit. What's that one thing that I can do differently each day to create a new habit? Now, it goes without saying, this habit should be something really that gets you towards the thing that you want to do, be, have, or whatever that, that thing is. Um, there's my timer. So it should get you towards that. So, you know, Hello, hello. I just disappeared. I'm back. My alarm went and then everything shut down. But hopefully I'm back. Yeah, so it should get you towards, like more towards the thing that you want to do. So, you know, it, it goes without saying, don't, don't try and aim towards something that you don't want and then find yourself further. You know, like if you want to run a marathon and you want to eat more healthily, you're going to start eating more healthily to run the marathon. Don't start troughing in loads of really unhealthy stuff because that will build the habit that you don't want. 
UK. So that, that's the second thing. And the third thing um, is to really think of one specific thing, one specific thing that you would like to change. Now, I'm going to admit publicly mine. One of the really bad habits I've got into, like I don't start any customer interactions generally before 10 o'clock or any client interaction before 10 o'clock. One of the things I've gotten into recently um, and throughout the pandemic was being able to lay in bed, write content on my phone, post it out there, you know, um, prepare a lot of stuff on my phone, add in appointments, schedule things. And I found myself kind of awake quite early sometimes, but lying in bed and, you know, just working from my phone, working from bed. And, and that wasn't a habit that I wanted to keep. Why? Because even though I was getting a lot done, I was using that to pat myself on the back and then complaining that I wasn't like ready or as ready as I wanted to be for that 10 o'clock call or as ready as I wanted to be to show up on camera. You know, I've got a couple of clients now who I'm making videos for them. So I wanted to be able to be on camera. Yes, it's not smell of vision but in order to do that, um, I didn't want to be in a state of undress. So I decided then from now on, by a specific time, even if I'm in the flow of working, I'm going to go and sit at my computer or at my desk and get into the flow of work so that I would do that consistently. Um, now, what I should have done, and I'll see if I can sneakily do it while I'm speaking to you, um, because one of the things I did want to do is I wanted to check um, 66 days from today. Um, you can use whichever search engine um, is your favourite search engine. So let me put that in. So on the day of recording this, 66 days from today will be... Da, 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 da. It's telling me I've got low battery. Come on, come on, you can do it. And I'm probably really straining the Wi-Fi services in the garden. It, it's thinking about it. But what you want to do is put, like, make a note of that date in your diary. If you're going to start from tomorrow, if you're going to start from next Monday, then put the date of 66 days from today in your diary. If you're going to start on the 5th, <laughs> the 5th of um, September, then your 66 days are actually going to end on Thursday, the um, 10th of November. Wouldn't it be great on the 11th, especially you guys, especially the Vibers, um, if on the 11th of November you post how you found this, it'd be really great. I am nosy by nature, but I also like to see people implementing. And also um, in the Visibility Vibes tribe, there's a big group of you, so you can kind of encourage each other, egg each other on, and, and so on and so forth. So pick a date number one and um, pick pick the the date and pick the task put the date in your diary so that you know exactly um what you're going to have achieved by when make sure that you ask yourself that question what's the little tweak little change we're not talking about going out and building a house or a community or a country we're talking about just a, a small thing that's going to make the biggest difference to you um, and really get clear on what that is and make sure that it's motivated by you and not someone else. I said I'd be 10 minutes, apart from dropping out in the middle of that, and I'm not sure how much of that we lost. Um, I dropped out for a few minutes, but I hope this is helpful. And if you want to share in the comments below, wherever you're watching this, um, it'd be really great because you never know how something that you share not only encourages you, um, but also gives you that accountability, that personal accountability. And probably spur somebody else on, encourages somebody else on, get somebody else to think differently, to dream big, to, to dream differently. So um, I can't wait to hear what you share. And I will also load this up on my YouTube channel as well. So if you haven't um, been familiar with the stuff on my YouTube channel, go over and have a look. We've got a really great um, career optimizing event that's coming up in just a few days from the time of this recording. Can't wait to see you. And thank you for commenting and sharing this video. Bye for now.